Hey there, folks. So, got this game here today called The Adventures of Bertram Fiddle, Episode 1. And this game, I don't know if you've seen it before, but uh, it's a point-and-click adventure. It, uh, I thought it looked really weird, honestly. They have a weird art style where everybody has weird noses with horizontal lines on them. I didn't see the point of it. And I'm very scared of episodic games, so I usually don't get finished. And actually what happened is they released Episode 2... I think at the end of the last year, and it sold, I think, something like 350 copies in total on Steam. And so now they're shutting down the series, and Episode 2 is going to be the last one. And I think they also canceled, like, the physical rewards from the Kickstarter, uh, although they are giving people money back. But I guess the bottom line is, from my perspective, um, you know, I'm not so excited about uh, episodic games. That's usually what's, what seems to happen. So let's see if I can do this well here. This is going to cover up some of this. So I want to start about the see so well. Maybe I have to use this other screen as well. There we go. All right, let's get started. I haven't played this before. I have no idea what happens here. I have no idea what uh, this looks like or anything. Let's start the game and see where it goes. Wow, it's loud. Hold on. in my ears. Hey Ryan, how's it going, man? I don't know what's going on here. It's, there's something about Victorian England and Jack the Ripper or something like that. But again, like, look at this guy's face. <laughs> First time ever YouTube did this job alerted you. I'm glad. <laughs> so, I don't know. My, like cynical view of when I see an art style like this is the person's trying to make something that looks a certain way just to get noticed because he's being pretentious. Oh, is there actually speech in this game? That's pretty cool. I guess I'm going to click on the alarm clock. Damn time, time machine. Oh, I guess the clock is a time machine. Haha. Huh? See, what's with his nose? Like, it looks like he has... You ever see Woody the Pooh? It looks like he has Piglet from Woody the Pooh stuck to his nose. And I, I just don't see the point of that. Like, why does he have to look like such a freak? I don't know, I can't, I had really had a hard time getting over the weird way he looks. Ryan, can you hear the audio okay? Can you hear me? And uh, I mean, I'm talking over the audio, obviously, but can you hear it? <laughs> you also hate this art style. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, like, I just don't get the point. Um, like, honestly, when I, this that turned me off to the game big time. I, I, like, I saw this guy right away, and I'm like, he has a slug on his head. His eyes are, like, super far apart. Like, what is the point? I, I just don't know what the point is, but I guess somebody thinks there's a point. I, I personally think it was like a, a, like some kind... I don't think it was like some guy's inner artistic expression. I think they, they thought, oh, if we have this cool art style, maybe the game will get noticed. But to me, honestly, it just turned me off. All right, so this guy's some kind of detective or something. Hmm. That's, better. That's better. And the voice acting is somewhat interesting, too. Right, how do you how do you control this? Uh, okay, obviously I'm moving around. I have some kind of settings thing here. This is his chamber pot. Uh, I, I guess it is his chamber pot. I've deleted iOS game because of this gross art style. <laughs> yeah, it's too bad you missed the end of Museum Madness, by the way. Did you watch the, the, the replay? Did you see what happened at the end of the game, Ryan? Because <laughs> I wasn't too happy about it. <laughs> After all that. Alright, I guess you can leave through the door here, but does he have an inventory or something? I don't know, I clicked on him, but I went out the door. Photomographs? Is he like, uh, will he, oh, what's his name? Oh, here's my inventory, okay. I guess he's like uh, George George W. Bush. The photographs. Do you want me to spoil it for you, Ryan, and tell you what happened at the end? <laughs> Alright, this guy's obviously some really cool adventurer or something. Okay. I was wondering about that. So he actually is a Cyclops. That's not like a, just a weird art choice. I should spoil it for you. Um, basically, at the end, like after all that crap, first of all, I had a real hard time with the interface. And then at the very, very end, like he, he like he solves all the puzzles and he fights the virus and wins. And he's like, I guess I'm going to go home now. And then just quits to the DOS prompt. <laughs> There's like no ending sequence, no nothing. It's just like, See museum and, and I was like I was really really unhappy about that. 
So, what's this? He has, is he like disabled, this guy? Yeah, I'm not joking. He has a ride at Cherry. What the hell's wrong with this guy? He can't walk down steps? Is he like... <laughs> this piece of garbage, too. Is he inventor, too? Some kind of weird steampunk or something. I don't know. Which is... I don't know where Gavin is. Looks like he got a text from Nigeria or something. Play like back in the day, game things were simpler. Yeah, but they, they like, Rear Eye of the Beholder was like very like harshly criticized for just having like a screen of text. And in this case, like it's not even a screen of text; it's just like uh, DOS prompt. I had Prince Mabuti, and since the death of my dear father, but this is obviously some Nigerian scam. It's like fax spamming back in the day. I never knew for telegrams though. I don't think you get automatic telegrams like that. I don't think that's how telegrams work. Dr. Kravenau's magic chesting dignity pills? Okay. Uh, Lord Arthwipe? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a little bit funny. Cut my house at Hellock Street by doing Lord Arthwipe. <laughs> Diet Di Mountain Dew right now. Which I sh it shouldn't be drinking so late at night, but... Gavin locked himself in his quarters, apparently. Because I guess he's my manservant. Is that the uh, Cyclops? Good morning, Mr. Peter. I guess so. What are you drinking, Ryan? Anything? I'm trying to think what that accent is from. Hey, I'll see you, senor. I have to watch the angry hate the art style. Yeah, I really hate it too. But like, I I pay it, now it's it's pay whatever you like on Game Jolt, and I paid the princely sum of zero dollars and zero <laughs> zero cents. Not because I'm cheap. Like, I, honestly, the truth is, I feel like digital games like are really worth zero dollars and zero cents because you don't actually get anything. But listen, if if it's actually good, I'll buy the second episode on Steam. Give the guy a couple of bucks. My grandfather had a massive clock, too, and he, he actually uh, passed it down to his children. It was really massive, and he had uh, two massive uh, something else to go with it. All right, what's this here? This is a very... Winkle of Ultra, that's good. This is a very popular art style, is it? I didn't know that. All right, so what do we have here? Definitely a British spelling of artifacts, because in English, in, in U.S. English, spell than I. It's a most gripping read, sir. Reminds me of like Speedy Gonzales, a little bit. Can I take a gun? I don't care. Is, what, is there something I can take in this room? Wow. The mother's a freak. Look at this. This is like a chin, and this is her mouth, and her nose is over here, and then she has eyes over there. Like, what the hell's up with that? And why would people be doing this art style purposely, Ryan? I don't get it. It's just weird. Uh, Fossilized. Oh, ha, ha, which came first? Can I take this bone. On bone. All right, it's actually got something. That's good. That's my autobiography or whatever. Is this like the way out? How do I get out of this house? I'm afraid like, I'll miss something if I don't click on every single stupid thing, though. That I'll be able to click on. What oh, tortoise? Oh, ha, ha. I don't know why I shelled out for it. It's so funny. It's not, not really. I think the joke about my grandfather and a big clock was funnier. The voice work is okay. There you are, Bertram. Good morning, dear heart. Oh, so he's married? Nearly ten o'clock. I hardly call that morning. Haven't you got some adventuring to do? I wish my wife would be happy if I were adventuring. I've been looking, but I just can't find any expeditions worthy of my talents. Well, if you don't find something to adventure through, I shall require that you find yourself a proper job. I do like the voice acting, though. I agree. Imaginable 
creatures, adventure strikes when you least expect it. I don't know how. As may be, I am a how do you think he he puts his that jacket on like the shirt? I guess it's a a button down shirt, but how does he pull his undershirt over that gigantic head? The collar must be like super stretched out. How are things in New Jersey? Pretty good. Same, same old, I guess. But I, I have a friend who lives in Manhattan, and she was telling me that like it's so depressing there. It's, it's like still like pretty uh, ghost towny in a lot of cases, and a lot of like sort of hoodlums hanging around the street at night, which is interesting. Uh, I'm supposed to do something here. Click here to open the inventory. Give her my handkerchief. I was busy talking. There you go. I'm sorry, dear. You have until the end of the day to find suitable employment, or I am calling Mr. Dullworth. I better go find super suitable employment then. Of course, my dear. Thank you, Beatrice. Now, could you do me a favor? Absolutely. Well, I do have an appointment with Lord Arkwright. For goodness sake, Beatrice. <laughs> I don't like you running errands for a dreadful man. It's just not becoming. Now then. That's a great name. I guess I have no choice. Yes, of course, my dear. Yes, dear. Very tiresome. I'm going to lie down. It's only 10 a.m. You're going to lie down? Lazy bum. Sheesh. All right, I'll take Foofy. Some <laughs> he doesn't like her. Some How does he take her? Oh, this thing? Oh, let's do here. Yes. I have captured countless species of wild animals. I'm sure I can manage a half witty outfit. You see that he's using the right bait? Yeah, I'll put the bone in the uh, in the thing here. <laughs> His nose to Jersey. It stirs me too. I'm trying to ignore it though. All right, I got this guy. There you go, Foofy. Oh, he's barking. He's barking even in my inventory. I right, made a nice, funny joke about your inventory being big. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so I think I got everything hopefully I need in here. Let's go to the groomer, I guess. I mean, this is very exciting. Oh, what's here? You can't open that? Yeah, Sherlock and Watson, except if Watson was an ogre. Oh, there's a key there. I was trying to open the cabinet and not move it. Is that the key to his house or what? I still can't open this stupid thing? I guess not. He's blocking whatever that is there. What is this? Uh, I don't know what that is. He shot some kind of animal. A rhino bird. Okay, whatever. Can I take you an umbrella or a walking stick or something? How about your hat? No, you can't take your dumb hat? Alright, I guess I'll just leave then. It's locked from the inside? What a great house you got here. Good job, Putz. Sorry. <laughs> Looks really dark out, doesn't it? Are you gonna come with me? Okay, good. Why does it look so dark? What the heck was that? Hey, you get the guy to switch bags with me or something. Or he, or he dropped his bag at least. Oh, he's got Foofy. Uh oh. I didn't realize I had a bag. Excuse me. Rude man. Rude man. Excuse me. This is a... Oh, no. Can you kidding me? I gotta do... This is like a, some kind of like quick time event. <laughs> oh, they, they stopped me with the arrows. I was gonna follow them. 
Sorry about that. Come back here, rude man. I see. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh, chapter two, okay. Visit the Adventurers Club. Where'd he go? I guess he got away. Doesn't look like your nose. He must have dropped it in his haste to scrap off into the shadows. You could drop a nose? I'm a little bit confused now. If my house and this many mysteries are locked doors would be a weird house. What's going on here? Pickles and dills? Did anybody see this guy run away? They talked to some people. Yeah, have you watched the Sherlock show on Netflix? Because that's really good. I've been watching. I watched basically all that. It's actually quite good. Oh, that's supposed. That's him, right? Why is he green? It pretended to be like sound like a woman if he's, if he's uh, has a mustache. They're really good. Um, I watched I think the first season and then stopped for a while, but then I watched the rest of it and it's quite good. Oh, there you go. If she asked Sherlock Holmes. I guess this guy's a contemporary of Sherlock Holmes. Jeff the <laughs> Jeff the murderer strikes again, but he doesn't comment on that. He comments on Freak Show. Okay. Can I take a paper? I guess not. This All right. Where can I... I guess I can go that way. I want to read the original Sherlock Holmes stories as well. I, I'm planning to do that. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Hmm, upgrade, your upgrade your mustache? How do you upgrade a mustache? What the hell does that mean? I don't drink Mountain Dew that often, but occasionally I do. I like it. A lot of stuff is happening in this game. <laughs> of course I have. <laughs> she wants to be Sherlock Holmes, I guess. Why do they call it murderings instead of murders? I agree, I should let you in. It's so weird, you want to see Sherlock Holmes. Why did they just make this a Sherlock Holmes game? <laughs> Anything else? Guess we're going here. So where's Sherlock Holmes? What a, what a cool guy. Alright, I guess at least, at least I get an inventory object. Who's this here? It's <laughs> a grouchling. At least that's realistic. I like that. <laughs> that's funny, Ryan. I didn't even think about that. I like how they don't know who he is. His name is Jeff. <laughs> how did they know that? Jeff the murderer. <laughs> Is that Echo? One second. Oops.
So, Matt, do you, I think it might be Echo coming for me. I'm not sure, but... So, what, the way I have this set up here is the speakers, like, theoretically, are just feeding into the mic as well. Even though the mic is set only to capture audio from the other side, they definitely feed into the mic. So, you might hear the speakers twice, one from the game and one from the mic, and that might cause an echo, but... Is it is it annoying? Because I can put on headphones if if you want. Also, there's like some background noise right now, like some kind of like whoosh or something like that. It also might be what you're hearing. So let me know. I I noticed what I did when I had. Well, let me make sure the fish is talking. What do you find up a crevice? A crevice. <laughs> That's actually funny. This thing you're talking about? Or this guy? I found this guy up my crevice. No, no, that's a crevasse. Looks very similar to Kelvin, the infernal machine. No, I did, a, I did a video recently, like, a, not a live stream, where I used the same audio setup, and then someone complained that there was an echo. So I actually did it using headphones after that. But for these streams, these live streams, it didn't seem like it made a difference. But if you guys are having problems, let me know. I can always put in headphones. I'm going to have to also put the fan on once in a while to make it worse. Because it's hot in here. I don't know why I'm talking to these people. So does he have some kind of turkey or something in there? I don't know what that is. Oops. What happened? Okay. So I need to find out who's like an A-list uh, detective so I can take their uh, take their membership or something. Porcupine canapes. That's really gross. What's in this guy's bag, by the way? I don't think I figured, did I open it? Can I see what's inside here? Why not? And this is a nose, apparently. He found someone's nose. It looks like that guy's nose, actually. Now that I think about it. But I guess you can't do anything with that. It's a very unique looking creature. Nice little really desert, nice and cold at night. This room. <laughs> hate all their noses. This. Uh, well, we told this already. This uh, room that I'm in right now, during most of the year, it's very cold. It's only in the summer that it gets a little bit warm. And, like, I tried putting an air conditioner in here, but it wasn't worth it. With a fan, it's actually quite fine. But uh, it's just annoying. Can I get this guy to break the lock? See what no, happens? Sir. No, sir. <laughs> I mean, I want to, like, cause pandemonium, right? That's the idea. They said if he gets out, it'll be pandemonium. There we go. It's like a pterodactyl. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm supposed to go in here now. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. What was that? Oh yes, that's the spot. I, that wasn't me. I didn't say that, by the way. Can we look at his door? <laughs> that's awesome. I want to get that machine. Awesome! How do I get one of these machines? The bird's probably crap on him, though. I didn't want to touch him. I want to talk to him. What's this here? The last living dodo. Oh, 
shut the door you way out. What is that? Some kind of drugs or something? It says something on it, but I can't read it. Uh, okay, I probably have nothing else to do in here. The Preston Wagecock? Alright, probably nothing else to do in here. I wish we, how do I save the game? Just if I want to save it. Oh, there's no save. I guess it's just uh, auto save. I hope. Okay, let's go out. I want to get one of those machines. So Sherlock Holmes is here. They should have got Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman to do this. It would be so much better. Did you look even the name of the bag? I thought of that. Oh my gosh. The features have been sliced off expertly with a sharp instrument by someone with skill and finance. I guess that guy was Jeff the Murderer. I never heard that word tolly watcher before. <laughs> That's a great line. You couldn't find your own tolly watcher in the toilet. This is funny. This is... Ew. Oh, this is the nose. What? What? Wait a second. What's going on? I found a nose, and this is the nose. That's so disgusting. What am I doing here? So I guess that's the nose of the person that he killed? That's so gross. I was middle of saying this game is funny. What did that do? Is it in my inventory? Yeah, it's in my inventory. I'll admit, hate the art style, love the writing. It's very funny, actually. But the spit... I use the inventory, it's nice to be combined. How about put this in the T? Oh but the spa, what is he saying? The spider, the spit? How come his hat is flying on top of his head, by the way? Okay, what was the point of that? I didn't want to knock him out, did I? I guess I can talk to Watson now. I think. I like alcohol, if that's what you mean by spirits. What? Okay. Count Fulchmuckle? My wife's gonna kill me if I don't get the dog back. What about the reporter that wanted to see Sherlock Holmes? She could, like Mr. Slytherin or whatever? What's his name? Snape? Severus Snape? You know, I'm a Star Trek guy. What other scoff do I like? Uh, she means stuff. No, oh, sci fi. <laughs> uh, I like lots of sci fi. Um, pretty much everything. 
Um, I like Star Wars, obviously. I like, to some extent, Doctor Who, although I haven't seen too much of it. I just, I need to watch more of it. Um, I like Red Dwarf. I don't know if that counts. Um, I don't know, name some stuff, I'll tell you if I like it. But I, I'm, I'm generally very into sci-fi, and I used to read a lot of sci-fi and fantasy. Yeah, classic Doctor Who, the ones I've seen, like the ones with the first Doctor. Um, I haven't seen any of the new stuff yet. I need to go back and watch it. But I was trying to get through some of the... I like going things in chronological order, and they're so long, and like the early ones, and they're, they're sort of tedious, and I just... Even though I know those are not the best ones, I'm not like willing to skip them and just keep going. So I gotta get through the older ones first. But eventually I'll get there. Alright, so it looks like I did everything here. So I guess I gotta go find Dr. Shrush Rush or whatever. Red Dwarf is really good, I agree. Uh, really funny. Oh, and, uh, well. I, li I like a, pretty much old British humor. Matt says, wife like, and I used to like watching all the monitor Doctor Who. I need to see those also. Are these the seagulls? They were talking about before? By the way, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed to the channel, it'd be nice if you do that. I appreciate that. I know, I know Ryan and Matt are subscribed, though. If you're watching this and lurking, feel free to type in the chat and actually, if you're live, tell us what you think of the game. I was talking to a reporter. Okay. What the? News blimp? I guess it's like helicopter eyewitness news. <laughs> That's sort of clever. The episodes of the 13th Doctor are so barely political we can't watch them anymore. That's interesting. Where am I going? Okay, I need to speak to Lord Arthwipe. What does it say? It's something about me, but I missed it. <laughs> Detective Holmes asleep on the job. Are pickles good for you? Yeah, I think your nose does look big in this. I think your nose looks big in general. You got a real weird nose. This is Lord Arthwipe. Like what? Oh. So by the way, I didn't watch any of those, but I did play the Doctor Who adventure game, which I believe is Matt Smith, um, with uh, the girl, the girl from uh, the Jumanji movies. What's her name? I'm forgetting her name now. But uh, those are that was a pretty good game actually. It was like sort of an action adventure. It wasn't exactly an adventure, but it was fun. I had to download it. Photographs. Why can't they say photographs? Is he going to ravish her? Meet her in her secret garden? I think if I end up in her secret garden, I'm not, <laughs> not going to invite this guy to come too. Why is he laughing? What's a ha 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 ha? That's why his wife doesn't want him to deal with this person. Why is there blood on the floor? Is that blood on your carpet? Yes, I I cut myself shaving. This guy seems like the he's probably Jeff the murderer. Seems pretty shady. What's this? What kind of, why is the pipe the fire purple? Looks like Mark Twain. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Mark Twain from Star Trek Next Generation. A little bit. Like Star the guy from Star Trek. Although his voice is completely different. He's like, Eh, how you doing? I'm Mark Twain. Eh, eh. What's this? Two-headed snake? I was going to say, at least I like they own up to the fact and they call this guy a cyclops as opposed to just pretending it's part of the art style and just like pretending he's a normal looking guy. Well, what are you guys saying here? 
Dear Ted, like all the writers, but all new who just don't seem to know what made Doctor Who great. I love to drink sherry at a swag British gentleman's club. I'd like to go to the, the Reform Club from uh, 80 Days. Can I break into this guy's drawers? Uh, I take the etchings? I guess not. Alright, what's the point of this? Let me go catch the coach. This guy looks like Igor is going to take me to like Dracula's castle or something. Are you coming too? There we go. Move, it. move, your, move your butt. Giddy up! Where am I going? Oh, chapter 3. That's where I'm going. I'm going to chapter 3. This is an adventure, you moron. You have funny eyes, too. I like the art. I like the, not the art style. I hate the art style, but I like the art. The problem with Picard, aside from everything else, it, and the new show, you know I haven't seen it yet. I just see the, like, clips of it. It's like, the old Picard is like, my name is Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Starship Enterprise. You have violated the Prime Directive, you know, whatever. The new guy's like, this is Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the Starship Enterprise. Like, he's just too old. His voice is so weak. Oh, that's the guy again? Am I going to have to use, like, the arrow keys? Like I did before? What? Where's he going? Oh, that's not good. He's behind bars. Come on, Dereka. Would you mind? Uh, helping me out of my chair. And or, next to a gate, <laughs> in an alley, there's a door. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is gross. Ew, I skipped what I really said. I'm sorry about that. The pigeons are eating this guy's mouth. So disgusting. Oops, I clicked out of the window by accident. What about this pigeon here? It's okay, we got this ox here who can lift stuff for you. I'm not sure why. Yeah, this is a gross game, I believe. I agree. Shatter voice. You had to die. I'm the star. What was the point of that? Maybe so she can climb into the building. Let me try to go in here. I can just walk in, so why'd I have to do that? Wow, this place looks really dirty. There's like cobwebs. It's like nobody's been in here for 20 years. <laughs> Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> oh, footstool. This reminds me also, the, uh, I don't know if you ever played the game Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. It reminds me a lot of the... Uh, the, way, the uh, Sherlock Holmes guy, the, whoever played him on the full motion video, his accent, he's like, Ah, English toffee, my favorite. May I try some, please? This guy's a very similar voice. Oh, wow. This doesn't look too good. They could use it an or. That will work? Why the hell not? That was a good idea. That footstool sounds like a terrible idea. I actually streamed a full motion video game, Ryan, not too long ago. Matt, what'd you think of that full motion video game we played? Uh, Bear Stearns Bravo. What'd you think of that one? Or how about uh, the other one we played? Um, what was that one called? The... Always the coughing game. I can't remember what the name of it is now. What the hell was that game called? Matt, talk about tell Ryan how good those games were. Right, is this the lady who's supposed to be the most beautiful woman in London? Is that like stuff coming out of her nose or is that like her, her hair? You've been hearing, eh? I don't think any of these things are going to help. Do you... Let me turn off this record player so you can hear better. Alright, good. Now I can use that thing for, to let her talk. Like in King's Quest 6. King's Quest 5, I mean, with the old guy. Hey, what's that you say? I can't hear you, young man. Oh, that's so much better. What's that, Sonny? <laughs> and Matt's sleeping, apparently, Ryan. But we, I did stream a couple. And I'll, I'll do more. What kind of secrets? Okay, I need to give him some food. Do I have any food? Do you want to eat this guy? Do you want to eat this guy's head? Oh, I can't do that. I had to put a girl to bed. Matt, tell Ryan about uh, the, the wonderful full motion video games we stream. Bear, Bear Stearns Bravo and uh, the one with the, 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 the guy in the basement who's trying to get out of the basement from his crazy wife or whatever that was. Ooh. Nice. Oh, can I have it then? <laughs> Those streams never happen. Oh, you just let me take a diamond like that? Wow. What a nut job. Thank you. I'm going to visit some more rich people in real life. Maybe they'll also give me, like, diamonds for free. Hee hee hee, rummage in my drawers. <laughs> I swear I never bring them up again. Did I actually do that? I don't remember. What are you holding in your hand here? What are you holding in your hand? I gotta find some food to give to the parrot so that he'll tell me her secrets. Long, 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 long 
ha, ha, ha. I gotta find some food, apparently. A cracker for the parrot. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, considering this place is, like, basically barricaded. <laughs> student, I've laid a game and prompt trying to sexually assault a student. Very true. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, how do I do this here? So either I, either I have to get through this obstacle, or I don't, because there's also, like, he was trying to go outside, it looked like. Let's try that, too. Although I would think, like, you could have to put the ore across this thing, but it doesn't work. Right, let me try to leave and go out the, go out the outside, because there was an option to, like, climb through the window or something like that before. Apparently. Whoa, what is that? Is there anything here? I actually could leave. What the heck? Ew, cockroaches? What is that? That's gross. I, I feel like I've been sort of funneled from one place to another, but I guess there is some more stuff I could do. But looks like cockroaches to me. I'm not sure if this is the best place to be. Take this stick. At least I got this big guy here to help me out. You know, there's mice. I can't see a thing. It seems like a mistake. I need, to, I need to go back when I have a flashlight or something. Or a candle or something like that. Which right now I don't. What's with these birds? It's right, it got very quiet all of a sudden. Wasn't there music before? That's still quite high, Gavin. And I'm wearing my tight trousers. That's better. What are you trying to do? That's still... That's still... The wall is too high. That looks a bit prickly. I thought maybe he was going to try to go inside. Can I get him to do it? Yes. I cannot do that, sir. That's still quite high, Gavin. And I'm wearing my tight trousers. What's the matter with you, you wimp? What do I got here? Put the ore in the hole? Or maybe not. I thought that was a good idea. Still... Guess not. Or... Alright, so I guess I have to get over the, the wall. Excellent idea, Gavin. Now if only we had a monkey. Would not work, sir. Well, I'll try. How do you get on it? How do you move it? It's portable. Uh, I can't budge it. Yes. You can budge it. I'm trying to what you guys are saying here. I, w I wanted to buy a long time ago one of those um, those pinball tables that are virtual that you could put like that lots of different pinballs. Let's see what happens here. How he kills himself. I'm wearing my tight pants. Are you kidding me? That didn't do anything, did it? What? What? What the hell? What the hell is that? What's going on here? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> is that a bug? 
It must be a bug. What the, what the hell was that? Start the engine, Gary. Yes. Did you see that? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Oh, he fell, fell down. <laughs> that was pretty interesting, though, how that thing, like, that was an interesting bug. It looks a lot neglected, not a bit neglected. I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> you saw that? Ryan, you saw that, too? Oh, there's something in this bush, obviously. It keeps shaking. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> you do deal with it. What is this? What is that guy's monocle? It's too precious. <laughs> I don't know what, what I'm trying... What's, what's the point anyway? Must stay is there anything else I can grab here? What is this? It looks like a... A bug or something. I don't know. Alright, I can leave here. Maybe I have to leave here. I don't think I can do anything with this yet. Fly on my jungle machete? Well, you don't have your jungle machete. Hey, why can't you get it to take care of it? I guess you can't, though. Alright, we don't need that anymore. I could just. Maybe I'll ask her about this thing. But he told me. The guy told me to call him when I found the secret garden. I mean. I guess not. Alright. I'm assuming I have to leave and come back. Unless I missed something. Was there, anything, was there anywhere to go to the right? I don't think there was, but let me go just in case. Oh, there is. A lot of places to go. Hamrax exotic produce, fruit. I can't spell. There's a hole here. I wish I had something to help him, but I don't. Not that I'm aware of, anyway. It's like I missed an inventory item somewhere. Big fishy. Pineapple. Hello, good sir. I will mix the bark to Yes. I cannot do that, sir. Can you do anything? It's in tatters. Not ten minutes ago, a huge big bird, sort of never seen before, swooped down. It tried to get me arrows. I just managed to bite it off. Giant pink bird, you say? I wonder what that could have been. Great big crappy thing, it were. Okay, so I need to help this guy repair the hole here, but I don't have anything to do it with at this point. I, Matt, I agree with you. I feel like nowadays they, they just put too much into the, the effects and not enough into the actual game. Where are all these pigeons gathered here again? Dullsworth Adequate Soap. Can I take this now? Gracious me! Those are sizable underguards. Can I take it? Yes. I can't reach that far. I do hope no one sees this because of scandal. May as well leave that here. See you later, Alley Gate or 
ha 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 ha. See you later, alligator. You guys are talking about pinball machines. Stream does for me? What does that mean? Stream does for me. Nice job. Bloomin' Marvelous. You can give me some food, some crackers for the parrot. How about a fish? Give me some crackers. Avocados. It's actually alive. Avocados. It's not avocado. It's an avocado. That's so weird. I want a cracker, actually. But all right, if I, if I can only have an avocado, I guess I'll take that. The stream died for you. Is it, is it still died? What, is it, what do you mean it died? Is the stream... Ryan, is the stream working? It looks like it's working to me. Favorite sci-fi non-Trek movie? You, I think you asked me that already, and I would definitely say Star Wars. I had to, re, to reload? Weird. Is it working now? I wonder why that happened. It didn't seem to die for me. I don't think I dropped any frames or anything. It must be YouTube is freaking out for some reason. Um... Yeah, so definitely Star Wars, but um, aside from Star Wars films and, and the first in particular, what other sci-fi movie do I like? I gotta think about it. Um, not Dune. I'm not a big fan of Dune. It's okay. Um, I mean, I like tons of some like tons of these one-off movies. I like movies that have time travel in them generally. So if there's a time travel theme movie, I generally will like it. Um, even if they're stupid. I mean, Terminator, first two Terminators are good. If you can, if you consider that to be uh, science fiction, which I think it pretty much is. Um, I guess he won't eat that. Okay, I gotta find him a cracker. I like most science fiction movies. I was just thinking about this movie Eraser. Uh, it's not really, it's not really science fiction actually. What's the one with um, the one with, where Bruce Willis like kills his past self, and there was also one recently where like. Uh, What's his name? But Will Smith's future self tries to kill him, or Pat, like a clone of Will Smith tries to kill him. I, I watch all those like sci-fi type movies, like anything like that. I saw recently the Time Machine, uh, which is not that great, but based on H.G. Wells' movie, based on H.G. Wells' book, um, Looper. Yeah, that's the that's the Bruce Willis one. The Matrix I like. I don't know if you can see that sci-fi. The first one I like. The second two are terrible. Uh. The Will Smith one was recent. It was in the theater last year. It was like um, somebody clones him, and then like his younger self is an assassin, and also just like him, and come back to kill him. This is not the '60s time machine. This is the time machine from that came out like in the, let's say 2010 or, or whatnot. sleepwalking pretty, pretty much any sci-fi movie I like though it, it's rare that I don't like them but the way, Memento is a good movie too was it the same guy from Memento I don't remember it might have been it was it was basically somebody that I that I didn't recognize it might have been the guy from Memento because I didn't recognize him at the time it was like all a no-name cast basically um but the one movie that always sticks in my head is the movie with um Justin Timberlake, I think it's called In Time, where he has like the numbers on his arms that say how much how much like time he has left. Do you ever see that one? Guy Pierce, yeah, that's the guy's name. Uh, 
All right, so I'm going back because I I'm assuming I missed something. Oh, I guess not. Okay, I guess not. <laughs> Gotta figure out what to do here then. So I can't go in here. She won't let me in. I already got the undergarments. All right, I gotta figure out how to get across that. Uh... You didn't like it? I thought it was a good movie. I don't. I don't like for Justin. I don't care for him either, but I do like. Oops, I I do like that movie. I mean, I, you know, Justin Timberlake has sort of grown on me. I didn't. I never liked him at all, but since the Saturday Night Live stuff, I started to to like him a bit more. I'm gonna try to see if I can go in here again and use the the diamond maybe on the on the light. To, to expand that light a little bit. Ray the mirror. Almost got it. Oh, well, so that was the right track, apparently. I keep clicking out of the window by accident when I go for the inventory. There we go. I've seen the alien movies. Oh, that's cool. Wow, he actually got the candle burning. Okay, this one got here. The first alien movie is pretty good. Um, I feel like they go a little bit downhill from there. I don't know. Oh, what the hell? <gasps> what the hell is this? Is this guy like, eating this person or this, this thing? Or... <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> Ugh! What the hell? What the hell? What do you know about these Look at these snails over here. And it's like a, some kind of cockroach crawled up the wall here. And I guess that's what he's been eating. He's hungry? All right, I'll give you the avocado thing. Ah, the fruit. Oh my There's god! So I tried to watch Time Bandits and I couldn't get into it. It's it, I was like at very high expectations for it, and I I didn't know what the heck was going on. I think I need to go watch it again. All right, so you ate the dodo, whatever it was. Sorry about that, Matt. I have no idea why you had, both of you had to reload. I think it was YouTube because I didn't drop anything. Apparently. You give me a sword or pro prophylactic. Oh, it's a sword. Dangerous to go alone. Ew, disgusting pig. Eat that thing. Gross. Favorite geek focused musical? Wouldn't that be like uh, Dr. Harble's sing along blog? So disgusting. <laughs> so there could be any other answer other than Dr. Harble's sing along blog. Yep, I have to agree with that. All right, whatever. <laughs> Favorite musical is Cats. Is that is that geek focused? I don't know about that. Do I need, can I take this? I guess I don't need. Ew! Hey, hey! He just took the diamond. What the hell? Oh, well, I took the diamond. He took the other thing. Jerk. <sighs> Firefly. Well, that was a great great show. It's too bad they stopped making that. It was like only like like barely a season, and then the, the movie. Just like the first episode of that, there's like 
a scene where like they, they like they kill some guy, he like, blows some guy away, like the, the very first episode. That was such a good show. All right, so now what? I got a sword. I they told me to go seek out a gypsy or something. Can I do anything in here now? It used to be on Netflix. It was on Netflix for quite a while, I believe. No, that won't mix. It was. It used to be on Netflix, Matt, for sure. Do 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 do. Oh, a new season. Yeah, you're right. I don't. I don't think you do it anymore. <laughs> I don't know if they could do it anymore, though. Like, I think they're all. All the actors are are done. Plus, they killed off, uh, what's his name? They killed off, uh, the, the engineer guy? The pilot guy? What was his name? You wait there, Gavin. I shall Alan Tudyk was, his, was the actor. Ooh, a biscuit. Uh, that's what I needed for the parrot. When he got there, the cupboard was bare, I was gonna say. What was that, uh, Andrew Dice Clay? Uh, old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to fetch her to poor dog a bone. But when he, she got there, it's like Rover took over and it was. Ew. I agree. What was, what was that? I guess they could. Is that girl still hot? That, uh, what was her name? The, uh... I forget her name. It's been such a long time. The one who he was in love with secretly. Or not really secretly. She knew he was in love with her. <laughs> what the hell? You just bridged it. Why'd you... You lost the vine? What do I do now? Lay down over the gap. I don't want to go up there. No, no, what are you doing? Come back. Wash? That was his name? I just remember the... Uh, the I also like the, the engineer girl. It showed how she got the job. Because, like... <laughs> I need to. What, what? This is stupid. Why have to I just bridged the gap. Oh, with the painting, I guess. Hobart Washburn. Rocket Man. Burning out his fuse. Out there. Alone. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. I think it's going to be a long, long time. Jade. Yeah, that was her name. That was the that was the, the blonde engineer lady. It's been such a long time, I don't remember, honestly. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate the, uh, the Shatner impressions. Ah, I keep clicking out of the window. Oh, G was Adam Bowen's character, right. Okay. Yeah, I liked him also. But it's such it's been so long. I mean, honestly, like I don't remember the show because I it's like I, I didn't see it enough. It, it, it didn't exist long enough. Kaylee, thank you. Right, where's the parrot? Oh, here he is. I know the code. I know the code. What One, is the code? 1842. These must be what your father is after. I wonder why he wants them so badly. <laughs> oh my god. That's him. Ew, that's so gross. 
My dearest Clarabella, much I have fought of you, your exquisite beauty, I have a standing in society which you must preserve. The thing we made, I can't bring myself to say its name, is an abomination. It must be sent away. You're selfishly Lord Arthwipe. Don't ever speak to me again. Oh my. Is that the thing that you made? This thing here? It's so disgusting. Ew. This game is really gross. It doesn't like quite cross the line, but it's it's a little bit gross. You know what's a good movie? Um, Pitch Black. The, that whole series with um, Van Diesel. Have you guys seen those? I really liked some of those movies. Pitch Black was a good movie. All right, I think we can leave now. Should I show her the pictures? Perhaps not. These are what Lord Arthwipe is after. All right, I guess not. Pitch Black was a good movie. And uh, I forget what the other ones are called. But the second one I remember was, like, sort of weird, and the third one was, like, really good. It was also, like, Pitch Black, very similar. All right, I can leave now, probably. I guess I can't tell the lady that he's he's hiding in the cave eating cockroaches. Chronicles of Riddick. That was the second one, right? Yeah. And what's the third one called? I feel like I'd remember it if I wasn't playing this game, but like my brain is like sort of fit fried. No point going back. Why not? Don't I have to give the pictures to Lord Arthwipe? Oh, I just, I, let me use the sword against the plank thing. Escape from Butcher Bay. Oh, that, yeah, I, I got the game. I haven't played it yet. I started playing it, but I didn't actually play too play much. The birds? That's like really old school. A shrubbery! <laughs> you lost your sword? W. Okay. This reminds me of the jungle. Is it. Oh, it's called Riddick? That's where he goes like, after this. I'm gonna go balls deep in doll over here. That was the third one, right? Fiddle over here. I can hear the trees talking. Was that the first one? I think it was the third one. Where is he talking from? Ah, oh, Fiddle. You made it past that murderous hedge then. <laughs> so, Lord Arthway, how did you get in here? I have my way. Have you got my photomographs? Yes, I have your photomographs. Splendid! Splendid! <laughs> you didn't look, did you? Yes, I looked. <laughs> um, mentioned some kind of reward? I did, did I? <laughs> I like... I like the first movie how, like, there was a lady who, like, was running and they were like, no, get down, get down! And she's running and they're like, those things came and like basically took her whole top half of her body and flew away with it and her legs were on the floor and she's like screaming that part was really cool there's Mark tweeting it you didn't give me anything he farted okay if you say so. I have the PC version, Matt. There's two games, right? They made two Riddick games, I believe. I can't hear what they're called now. Oh, a ghastly conclusion. Are we at the conclusion here? Mind your steps, sir. There must be a way out somewhere around here. Who's this guy? He's a pickle on his nose. Where am I? Oh.
I don't like their noses either. What's this? He's an eye there. What happened? Ew. Ew, that's an eye from the corpse. Ugh. Oh, God. Ugh. You're getting old. We're all getting old. And I'm a bit down on my luck, mister. My good lady wife threw me out on account of me tuneless whistling. Said you were driving her to distraction, she did. Oh, poor you. Tuneless whistling. Now I'm sat here in this I can whistle, okay. Pondering the meaning of life. <laughs> um, should I give him a diamond ring? I don't see what, what why. I'm a man of simple pleasures. May I borrow your tin bar? It's all I have left, sir. I wouldn't part with this for the world. I wish I would give a diamond ring for no reason, just because it's an adventure game. Real life, I would save it. Will this be of any use? Oh, <coughs> that cost a pretty penny. But I fear it would lead me astray. Okay, I guess not. All right, let's keep going then. What's this wall here? Nothing. Fancy biscuits. Yeah, Soul from Dark Athena. So the remaster, I think a Soul from Dark Athena comes with a remaster of Escape from Butcher Bay or something like that. Yeah, okay, that's what you just said. The re-release. Yeah. It's also for PC, though, I believe, not just for Xbox 360. Evening, sir. I want to hunt for the fiendish villain known only as Jeff the Murderer. Jeff the Murderer. It's like Tim the Enchanter. Jeff the Murderer. <laughs> That's going to be a copyright strike, Ryan. You're probably right. What about this machine here? Can we fix the automatic sweeping machine? What a marvelous machine! I guess you won't do anything except for say what a marvelous machine. What's wrong with your TV machine? Will you be surprised what people throw away? I find all sorts of stuff lying around. Only the other day I found a leg. An actual human leg. If only my newfangled automatic sweeping machine hadn't broken. There's... Hmm. It would appear you have blown a gasket. Skips the back to bung the hole. Something to bung the hole. Where's uh, Beavis and Butthead when you need them? I'm sure this is not going to work, but I'll try it anyway. I don't have a pawn console. It's not fair. You guys have a pawn console and I don't. Can I go to the left here? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. Okay, here we go. Hello, gentlemen. You're not from around here, are you? Do you see anything you fancy? Oh, I love a bit of muffin. You, friendly nitwit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what she meant. She threw her muffin at me. I'm not going to eat something that's been on the floor. I'm not an animal. I don't think that's exactly what she meant, but whatever. Crumbs. Crumbs? What does that mean, crumbs? I want to use that for to fill the. Crumbs. I guess that doesn't work. These people look pretty poor. Maybe they want food. Oh, what a beautiful turnip you have there. Leave my turnip alone. But my beautiful baby turnip, they call me Pokey Mary. Cause I'll poke ya with wish. Well, she will as well. Look what she did to my hair. I will poke ya. Yeah, yeah. We don't like your sort around here poking your nosy in here. This is weird. What's going on here? Hey, Matt, that's really nice of you, but I don't want to wait until you, you keel over to get it. How about you give it to me now? <laughs> no, I've, I've been bugging that Odyssey guy to make to, to fix the bugs that he has because I can't play more games because some of them have bugs. 
And I think he got like overwhelmed by the fact there's so many bugs, and he he's like lying low for a while, which is unfortunate because I really like him to, fi him to fix them. They were, the stuff he has is really good. Do you want a f some food? All right, this is just some duck case, apparently. I'm just walking around here. Oh, what the? Thanks a lot. <laughs> you would? That might be a good trade. Might be worth it, Matt. <laughs> Jaws joke. I just want to take the basket. I don't want a boat. I gotta read. Can I like do, be like Moses and float in this basket? Matt, what's in your Odyssey One collection? I see there's an Odyssey in it. What else is part of the collection? I can't. I tried this already. It's just crumbs. Why isn't that strong enough? What do I keep clicking outside the window? What's this here? It's garbage. That looks like a good stopper. Yeah, they're they're on my channel, and um, if you go here, I'll put a link here. Go to Odyssey. I think that's the that's the link there. That's the um, the page of the guy who makes this thing Odyssey which is an Odyssey simulator, and he hasn't updated it, like, probably in two months, so I think the first thing in his page is still one of the videos of me and my wife playing Odyssey games. All right, so I got I got some something probably to fix the that broom sweeper thing. Let me see what else is here. Looks like I got a toilet. Ew. What the heck? Ew. A mouse came out of the toilet? Why don't I go to the toilet anyway? But I'll give the rat some food. <laughs> it's like, what the hell is this? I go back in the toilet. I got a toilet brush. Okay. Don't know why. Odyssey counts on half the carts, over half the overlays, most of both sizes, several of the manuals. Hmm. And the rifle. Okay, the rifle's not bad. What'd you say? Yeah. Uh, I must approve it. Didn't he tell me he's for someone to go see like the psychic lady or something? I don't know how to prove it. Let me go back here. Oh, the accessories too, eh? When you say around half the carts, do you mean the carts that it originally came with, or, or does that include the like the uh, you know add-on stuff? Whole library, wow, that's cool. I like the steampunk. Let's take this. What's it? Where did he go? I oh, didn't clean these people up, unfortunately. So 
Someone's like a nut job. I got a flute now. I guess I was supposed to do that, even though I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> the carts had no ROM, yeah. I am aware of that. That's why you need something like Odyssey Sim to actually play it, as opposed to, like, there's no real emulator that will work for it. Um, I must have played play the flute for that lady. It won't let me in the room. No, no, no. Let's see. Hello. It's, uh, prove it. How did he tell me to prove it? I don't remember. What was that? I meant to blow the. No, that's not going to work. Why not? Your mod TV doesn't have room ups. It may even hookups. Do you have a, you know, your modern TV doesn't have a cable in? Because you can adapt the 2600 to use ca a cable input very easily. Unbesweepable. What a fearsome gargoyle. Reminds me of my mother. I wish I was paying attention when they told me what to actually do. Way back when. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. You cook up a twenty six hundred using coax. Exactly. Yeah, a buck fifty, two dollars from China. What about his guy here? What do you What do you want? A flute? Will this be of any use? Oh, thanking you kindly, sir. I'm going home to whistle my wife back. Oh, because he said he was out of tune and his whistling. I forgot about that. Trial and error, boys. Trial and error. It's very, yeah, I, I went to, I was happy I was able to go to Digital Press and buy it there, here in New Jersey. Um, I was like, you guys have one of those adapters? I'm like, it was like a hundred of them here in this bag. I want to go. To, actually, I want to go to Digital Press tomorrow. Why are all these? I want to see if they have any Vectrex stuff there. Why these noses look so gross? I don't know. Because the guy who designed this game, I said at the beginning, was no, very pretentious. It floats. Ian Orr. Got a toilet brush? How about this brush? Okay, get in there now. Hmm. I think it's probably better if I stay on this side and keep a lookout. Yes. Frankenstein's Monster is a cool game. I actually don't have that one, but I want to get that one. I'm rocking the puzzles in this game here. A bit faster. We haven't got all day. <laughs> Go against the current. That's pretty cool. Okay, can you lower the bridge now, genius? I feel like a lot of Atari games have held up, honestly. But. Here's my River Raid. Just got this not too long ago. I like the sticker on it from 1999. It's unopened, it's sealed. Okay, let's go here. Thank you, Frankenstein. I think this guy here is Frankenstein. Whole new area. I'm really stupid because I could have had River Raid for the PC Junior for five bucks. And I didn't. I didn't buy it. Excuse me, young whippersnappers. That eyeball belongs to me. Find its keepers, Mister. We saw it first. If you want it, you'll have to beat us at marbles. Well, I used to be rather good at this game when I was a lad. You can't play unless you've got a marble. We don't make the rules, mister. 
Do I have to use the diamond ring? I'm keeping this gigantic diamond to myself. I guess not. My favorite Atari games, should you didn't ask, is Adventure for sure. I love Adventure. Look at the size of that spider. That's a spider? What the hell is that? Spider, spider, of great in your cook. That's a spider? Okay. I don't know why I did that, but there must have been a reason. Journey Escape. <laughs> That's a weird game. She's playing like a, a mobile game. A Clockwork Farm. She's playing like Farmville or something. This game is from 2014. I think she's supposed to be playing like Farmville in the 1800s. Favorite 7800 game. Um, Baby Pac-Man that just came out recently. The Pearl of Mini Moto. What an opulent treasure. I wonder if I can borrow it for you. But also, I mean, Ninja Golf is pretty cool. I just stole a... What? He wants a lollipop. He wants a lollipop. It's a little bit freakish. Where am I? I just walked to someone's house and stole their diamonds and pearls. Well, Princess Rescue is very cool, too. I'm glad he at least asked a normal question. What am I doing in his house? Smurf Rescue. Actually, this guy... Uh, I wonder if this is the bad guy. This looks a little familiar. <laughs> oh, so this is the guy who said, did Bruce send you? Oh, the bridge. The other side of the bridge. Tell me. What are you doing, sir? Well, you already asked that. Wilson and Wilson were in the North Tower because of what they did to that poor old man. Nobody's dead. What'd they do? What's that car? I recognize that mysterious symbol. What's that? What are you doing, sir? Come on. Can you, like, give me some information? Oh, jeez. That's a lovely color. That's my root. The game might teach the foolish girls to unite them. Quick. Ricky and Vicky. I've, I've heard of that, but I have not played it. That's a lovely color. That's my root. The game might teach... And I was... I, I, Ryan, I have Princess Rescue physical cart, but I paid a lot of money for it, unfortunately. Just because I really like, I mean, I, when I first came out, I was like, who needs that? It's just Mario Brothers, whatever. But it's so good that I, like, I sort of had to have it after I actually saw it. And by then, it already was sold out. Did you really ask me that? Tell I'm Bertram Fiddle. I guess I can't show him the face. All right, I got to figure out what to do with, with this guy. Let me, let me leave. Yeah, you said that already. Should else to do over here? I don't think so. Right, let me go play uh, with those kids outside, Marvels with the Giant Pearl. They just took... They took the pearl. I say, come back with that. Oops, sorry about that. I first played Princess Rescue Your House. Yeah, <laughs> I think I did, and that's what convinced me that I need to get a copy because it was really good. 
All right, so now I finally put this guy together. Now can I use it as an inventory object? No. Now what do I do with it? I don't know. I guess I don't need the rest of the marbles, right? I can't go further over here. Is there anything else I can do with these weirdos over here? She's still playing with her face time, whatever. Why can't let me take that thing? What am I supposed to do with that? I, I wish I can't show him the face. I wish I could do that. But you can't do anything with the face. What are you doing? But he says, who are you? What are you doing in my house? I want to say I'm from, you know, I'm Bertram Fiddle, you know, investigator, and blah, blah, blah. I feel like I'm missing something. Sure, I'm missing something. The question is, what am I? What am I missing? Why is there a picnic basket here? It's just for a joke. It's for a gag. These pigeons are still like all over the place. Will she let me in now that I talk to that guy? Prove it. How do I prove it? That's not gonna work. Favorite retro platform of all time. I like everything. <laughs> Matt's happy you said Vic Twenty, I guess. What's this do here? All right, I definitely need to get that guy to recommend to, to give me something that lets me know. Let her let her know that he sent me. I don't know if there's anything else to do here. That's how they gate off little areas in this in this uh, place, one from the other. Okay, let me just make sure nothing in this barrel. No. I think I've done everything except for a deal with that guy. And I thought I did everything in the, in the house that I could, but. I don't try to stick that on this. No, I don't think it'll be a waste. I think it was a good idea, but I guess you didn't think so, so. Oh well. Do, 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 do. For console, for me, I think it's. Anything. I mean, Atari and NES probably are the two I like the best. Atari 2600. Mm, now it looks edible enough to eat. Okay, I got cotton candy. I'll give it to these two tw to the twins here. I don't know why. That's a little bit weird. Daddy can't grow a real mustache. Your mustache. It's all crooked. Here, let me. Oh, don't touch my mustache. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> did I have any Tiger Electronic games? No, I didn't. I had uh, a bunch of the Game of Watches, though. See. What do you mean by that? I, all those tiger games look terrible. I mean, like, I know some kids like had them. Uh oh. Too bad, little kids. 
You're not scaring me. I got an ogre with me here. Yeah, I I enjoyed uh, the, the game and watch, but the tiger games I thought were terrible. I didn't have any. I didn't want any. I didn't order it, and I didn't want it. The missus didn't order it, and she doesn't want it. And the cow don't need it either. So just go away. All right, let's get, see if we, this guy don't let us in now. Prove it. Here, I got his black heart card. I have an invitation from Sir <laughs> Tiger with games with the poor kids like me couldn't avoid Game Boy. What about the Game of Watches? I mean, I guess they're expensive too. Who are you? What do you want? I want to talk to you. For I'm here to see Madam Watson Bart. sent me. I sense you're greatly troubled by something. Yes, I am. How did you know? She's very good, isn't she, Cat? You're searching for something. Someone. Stranger. Yes, yes. Jeff the Games that folded up looked like an audio cassette. I remember that like, the Transformers looked like audio cassettes. They went to Soundwave. Trevor, what are you talking about, Ryan? All right, here's the give you the give you the diamond ring. Sorry, I don't have any silver, Ooh, but I do have this massive diamond. Yeah, game watch were cheap, I suppose, but uh, I don't think the sil the single screen ones were that expensive. We're at like Mario's Cement Factory. Whoa! Oh, it's Princess Leia. A George. Who was it? We didn't find out. You said you know him, don't you? Who was it? What? Oh no. Or your heart? Oh man! Oh no! This is we're we're running. Am I running through a graveyard? Like that doesn't seem like the best place to go if ghosts are chasing you to run through a graveyard. I missed that bridge. I wonder what happened. Because you're a dumb schmuck. That's why. Haha, <laughs> cute. Over exercise, though. I think I'm getting away, though. It's lucky I have such good keyboard skills. Uh oh. Do you guys remember the the ar those Arbitron watches that some bunch of people had? Like the, the different, all different watches. Like there was like some people had like a stupid video game on their watch, and there's like a robot that attaches to a watch, like pops off. Was just stupid nonsense. They were all, those were all crap, pretty much. But we all, as kids, we all thought they were cool. All right, what happened now? Oh, you just mentioned those. This, oh, the game watches. Okay, sorry. <laughs> it's the Coleco tabletop arcades were really cool, but I don't think I had any of them. What's going on here? I just like ran away from a bunch of spirits to another part of the game. I guess. I'm not, now that's where the dog was supposed to be, right?
The robot transformer watch. That's what I'm talking about. What's going on here? What's wrong now, Bill? You look like a confused carrot. What's wrong? Are you sure this is that fiendish villain's house? Ew. Head, shoulders, <laughs> knees, and toes. Hmm. Definitely looks like it's his house. What's this, spaghetti? Uh, he must have just missed him. His dinner is still warm. Liver, mushy beans, and a nice bottle of tea. Ugh. Not fava beans. Oh, <coughs> hasn't a bit. Sheesh. That's what he looked like as a kid. Oh. Chat disconnected. Hmm. Alright, it's working now. What What's this like? I made some soup? I wonder what's cooking. I mean it's him. Can't you open it up and look? There's a note here. A letter addressed to me. Dear Mr. Fiddles, you think you are so clever at following my clues, don't you? But maybe you aren't. Maybe I left them for you to find. Or maybe I didn't. The miserable demon what tells me what to do says the story isn't finished yet. I will be back. Here's truly Jeff the Murderer. P.S. Do you like hot dogs? Ha ha ha. What? How weird letter is that? Story isn't finished yet? Does that mean the game's about to end? Do you see anything burning? Are you okay? Oh no. What kind of a maniac would make sausages out of a dog? Oh my god. His dog was eaten? Need a cabinet? What kind of word oh. What the hell? It's under the floorboards. Yes. My Resident Evil fan. I've actually never played any of the Resident Evils. I just recently got the first one and I made to play it, but I never played them before. The game is pretty dark. Oh, good, Foofy. I feel like this is the end of the first episode. I wouldn't be surprised. Can I take Foofy? Yes. Pick up Foofy. Where's the cage? Out of inventory. The only thing he cares about is Foofy. Hey, where'd you go? Come back. What the? Oh, that's my, whatever, my wife. Oh, that's oh, that's the news reporter. Cassio still sells them. Wasn't that a Microsoft watch, Matt? Or maybe not, if it said C64 or an Apple. Seems like it's wrapping up this episode. So, basically, as I mentioned before, this first episode I got for free now that it's 2020 and it came out almost about five and a half years ago. Episode two, I believe, came out the end of, like, in December of 2019. And as of May 2020, it sold 350 copies. So, as a result of that, the guy decided 
basically cancel the series. Now, what I've seen from this, from, from, I don't know episode two if it ends on a cliffhanger. I bet you it does. But this particular game was not bad. It was, I mean, the, the, the art style is hard in this. But the puzzles were good. It was fun. It was, like, funny. The art was pretty good. The voice acting was good. The main problem with it, and it's unfortunate people don't realize this in advance, is that when you sell a game as episode one, you're intrinsically going to lose, in my opinion, a very large percentage of your audience. Because if you've been around for long enough like me, you know that episode one does not always lead to episode two, and episode two does not always lead to episode three. So what's the point like, of buying this and then not being able to finish it? And that's exactly why I didn't support it really until now. Now that I played episode one, I think I'm going to try to see if I can get like a cheap Steam key for episode two. Because I do want to see how it continues, but I'm also like already have it built up in my mind that it's not going to be a satisfying ending. But I'm going to try to see if I can get a copy of that and maybe, maybe play it on one of the upcoming streams. Maybe even tomorrow, although I think tomorrow I may, may play Hack instead. But I'll figure that out. But regardless, like... You kill yourself by making episodic games like this. In my opinion, there's a big reason why Telltale went down also. Because I didn't want to buy your things in episodes. I wanted to wait until it was done. And then I'll buy it. And then I'll even like buy a physical version, ideally. Not like, you know, like these little drips and drabs. Matt, I totally agree with you. I won't buy them until all episodes have been released. Yeah, so this one is basically... <laughs> it's like ebooks at Amazon. A book that has 25 parts. Yeah, I mean, those I think are scams. But, like... Just not really interested, but it, now that it's done, now that I know it's over, all right, I'll, I'll check it out. But, like, man, you, it's too bad. You had a good product here, but you, like, you doomed yourself to failure because you couldn't put together a whole thing. And I guess there was money issues, and I, I get that, and I feel really bad, and World Smalls, Violin, all that. But, like, bottom line, like, there's so many games out there, and you're not doing yourself any favors by releasing it episodically. <laughs> Play Thunder in Paradise, no sequels. <laughs> yeah, agreed. Well... Guys, Matt and Ryan, I'm really glad both of you are here in the chat, making this much more fun for me. And uh, I'll do. I'm gonna stream again tomorrow, probably around 6 p.m. Eastern, and convert that to your local time zone. But if you're watching this, if you're one of the people lurking right now, or if you're watching the, the replay, you're not already subscribed. Please subscribe if you like this stuff. I do videos, I do live streams, and uh, hopefully it's fun. So, thanks, guys. We'll do this again really soon. And like the video if you haven't already. And have a great night, guys. See, talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.